Hi Sagittarius. This is Heidi I Sew the Sauce. I am one of you and this is my Sagittarius channel. Uh, all readings for Sagittarius and I know there aren't many videos here but I'm working on that for sure. And we're going to do your week ahead energy. Um, if you're looking for personal readings or um, I also make journals. You can find that in the description in my Linktree link. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to do a little everything here. I'm going to do your overall energy. I'm going to do love. I'm going to do um, a little career. Let's do a little everything, shall we? Yeah. Whew, hopefully this is a good week. I don't know, Sag, because the energy affecting you was interesting because I feel like you might be feeling kind of moody kind of moody and i i do think that neptune is really affecting us um because we're a mutable sign right and all mutable signs are being affected and so there may be some sensitivity that you're feeling here maybe some moodiness um because we have pisces energy which is being sensitive being moody with the sun reversed, right? So maybe some moodiness that doesn't feel so good, you know? And I feel like with the sun reversed, you, you kind of can't figure out why. Like, why are you feeling this way? Because that is not a feeling that we would associate with Sagittarius. Yes, we can be moody, but um, we typically stay in a good mood. We're very optimistic. We don't like to not be happy. You know, um, and and so you could be being affected by this Pisces energy, actually, you know, and, and particularly wanting to, st like, maybe keep to yourself, because that's Pisces energy as well. So I also did uh, your overall energy, you know, and it feels like things are changing, Sag, okay? So, I don't know about y'all, but I've been seeing 555 five, five every day, right? <laughs> That's changes, but, you know, underneath the deck, which is what's um, rising to the surface for me. So, it's what's in your subconscious, but it's what's rising, right? You've got transformation. So, if you've been seeing 1111 11 a lot, that would really make sense, y'all. <laughs> You know, um, but I, I really get this sense because you also got Wombat Spirit, Be at Home, and Peacock Spirit, Let It Shine. I just feel like you're really stepping into this um, Sag energy where you're just being more yourself. You know, you're not filtering yourself for others. Because I, I, I feel a lot of the time us Sagittarius just feel like because people take us um, wrong at times, you know, our passionate nature, our energy. And I feel like you're just tired of, like sometimes you might feel like you don't need to get all the attention. You don't need to be so much you because I can't tell you how many times I have felt like I was too much for people or I was being too much. And I feel like that's changing. I feel like what's transforming is that, you know what, you want this to come out. You, you want, because the Sagittarius wants nothing more than authenticity. And you, I feel like you're just not going to push it down anymore. You're not going to do things to make other people comfortable, right? Um, and then, you know, life is speeding up. So, this stagnation that we've been feeling may be coming to an end. Thank God. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So, you also seem to set healthy boundaries, right? And this is part of what Neptune is teaching us and Cancer. You know, and I've said before, Sagittarius doesn't like boundaries, okay? <laughs> we don't. We look at them as rules. We don't like rules. But I feel like what might might be changing, especially with things speeding up, is you feeling the need for boundaries, okay? Um, so really think about that. Really think about that. So in your overall energy, what's on the bottom is the Three of Pentacles. So this could be collaborating. Um, this is with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I'm happy to see that. So that's abundance coming in. 
that's abundance coming in, right? Um, and what's really interesting is that there may be an opportunity coming in for you to collaborate with others. Um, maybe join a team. The Three of Pentacles is, you know, others want to work with you because they recognize, you know, they see your value. Um, but with the King of Swords being at the bottom, I feel like you're just trying to, um, to, to really weigh this decision in a logical way, whether or not, you know, this is for you, you know, but something definitely exciting is maybe happening in your career. I, I really feel that. So let's see what the overall energy for the upcoming week is for Sag. What's going on in the upcoming week? The Empress, oh my goodness. Mm. Well, you know what? I really see you making better choices for sure. Anything else for the overall energy for Sagittarius in the upcoming week? There's a lot of healing in the Empress too, but I really feel like you have really connected with your divine feminine energy. You may also be attracting abundance here, okay? Because, gosh, we love the Empress. We love the Empress, you know? And you may be really taking some action on, on something that you love, right? So, this is what I really see here. A lot of this is about career for you guys. Um, but because it's with the Five of Swords, so you may really be fine-tuning something here, whether this is your own business or your career. Because what's sitting in the middle is the Five of Swords. Okay? Um, I feel like you're really overcoming self-sabotage and really thinking about your decisions. Okay, because this, it, it, the Five of Swords can be, like it says on here, an unwise choice. And look, this has to do with other people. So maybe it's this, this opportunity for, for collaboration. You may be really thinking about it and really thinking about how you feel about it. You know, because the Empress does tend to be something new. And because maybe, you know, definitely working with others in the past maybe didn't work out so well for you you know and I just feel like when it comes to matters of money and your dreams and and what you're taking action to you will really be thinking way more carefully about it because you don't want to make the same mistakes right and you know it's really interesting that your child will have the eight of pentacles here too because the eight of pentacles is learning a new skill I just feel like basically though, this is you learning how to make decisions better. Like I feel like you're making decisions um, and, and this could be anything. I mean, when we see the Empress, we think about abundance, but it really could be anything. The Empress can also be a new relationship, right? But I really feel that like overall, since this is overall energies, you are in this space of making better decisions you know I'm really kind of you know this is really interesting because you know you're taking actions on things like trying to make your dreams come true here but also making better decisions and making sure you know all you need to know Ooh. with the world yeah you're definitely doing things differently here that's what I feel but let's take maybe a closer look at the Empress. What is the Empress? What is this all about? Oh. Well, okay, the lovers. What is this all about? And the Three of Pentacles again. Tell me about the lovers. Because I want to see if this is relationships or work it could just be making a better making decisions in a more balanced way Let's see.
this is making better decisions with your money you know and, and what I really feel is like the Empress because we're seeing the higher thing right so you really may need to fine-tune your approach on things um, the lovers is is you're in this space now where you're making decisions that come from heart head not just you know and definitely not being impulsive definitely and that is out of character for Sag right and with the three of pentacles you know wow this is this is definitely about doing work you love because that's exactly what it says on there <laughs> it says about doing work you love I feel like you're choosing to follow your dreams here you know and there's this chance of collaboration here and I I feel like this is going to be real pivotal energy for you this week and also it's all about how you make decisions um but here's the difference I feel like because you're really really about your stability now okay we're seeing the king of pentacles and about making wise decisions when it comes to money but also being really committed to yourself to yourself yeah so to a sword so you're not so you know decision and you know this decision is coming up but you're not going to jump you're going to weigh it out. You're going to look at it. You're not going in there with blinders on. Hmm. Okay, Sarge. I love that energy, actually. If I'm being honest, I love it. And I'm using my own deck that I made um, called the Love and Attraction Oracle, which is also available. Love and Attraction Oracle. I believe it's on sale, too. <laughs> see, I don't even remember what I do my own damn self. So let's see what you're attracting in love. Who and what you will be dealing with in the upcoming week. Or Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I see a lot going on in your career, though. This one, you know, FYI. So I don't really feel like I need to pull career cards for you. Underneath the deck is play in the field, Sag. So maybe you'll be putting yourself out there for dating. I feel like um, Sagittarius has been really secluded um, for quite some time. I know I have, y'all. I know I have. So let's see. Ugh. Sexual attraction wanted to come out. So what is Sag attracting in love? What is Sag attracting in love? Oh, playing the field came out again. What is Sag attracting in love? Ooh. Sag. Sagittarius. All right, Sag. There's a lot. As always, there's a lot for you. So, I mean, this might be multiple messages for multiple people. <coughs> I feel like if there's been someone here, Sag, who has been holding themselves back, I feel like, I feel like you think that they're out there talking to other people or seeing other people with um, the shy one and playing the field. Um, but that's not true, okay? This person um, has been going through some stuff with personal challenges, and that is what, um, what has been affecting them actually interacting with you. And I also kind of feel, oh, wow, yeah. Because this is someone from your past, maybe, um, or someone you've been dealing with who hasn't really been putting the work in and I feel like you think it's because of other people but it's really because of stuff they've been going through and they're, I feel like they're going to reveal this to you okay so let's look at consistency clarify the everyday for Sagittarius incoming message they're going to tell you they're going to tell you why they haven't been talking 
And I, I, would, I do really feel like it's not like you think, Sag. But let's see more. Yeah, because we're seeing the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom with the Five of Swords. I, they just been, and the lovers. They think about you a lot. They've been trying to do some things with the Knight of Pentacles, right? Because the Knight of Pentacles is about doing the work. You know, it is about stability. And I feel like that's what they've been trying to do. Um, and they are kind of in their head about you. And kind of afraid that you're going to leave. Because they haven't been, you know, seven of pentacles. They haven't been active in this connection. Interesting. So tell me about Saj in love this week. Saj in love. Saj in love. Queen of Cups. Saj in love. King of Wands. Oh, the sun. Wow. Yeah, I do feel like this person is in their feelings, and I feel like. Whew, I feel like they want to take action because they want to be happy. Tell me more about Sag and Love. Five of Cups. They have been dealing with some stuff. Definitely dealing with some stuff. And that may be why they are in their feelings. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Queen of Cups. Three of Cups. They want to come back together. They want to nurture this King of Wands. Of ones. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, so much. Yeah, this is someone you had an ending with. The tower. Someone you had an ending with. Um, and it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. We're seeing the Tower and the Ten of Wands. You know, it can also be that, you know, they want to take action here, but they're afraid that you're not going to go for it. Right? And this can also account for the, the delay. You know, they want to take action, but there's been so much going on, and now they want to offer you this cup. But they're afraid that you won't take it because of everything that's happened. So tell me about this Five of Cups. Oh boy, this is a lot. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I don't know. You have some drama with this person. <coughs> First of all, you have to know that this person loves you. Two of Cups. This is part of their sadness. Um, be, and they think a lot about what happened. Four of Cups. They think a lot about what happened. Um, it could be that they left. Right? And, you know, they've been spending a lot of time thinking about what to do. Um, they do want to talk to you. To tell you the truth to admit something here. Oh, wow. So what is this truth? Uh, okay, Saj. Yeah, they're really in their feelings. 
Um, and, and what they're really thinking about is the future. It could be that they see you in their future. Yeah, they've been thinking a lot. Yeah, they see themselves with you in the future, in a relationship. I feel like that's what they want to tell you. Lovers is on the bottom again. With the Nine of Swords. Because the lovers is a choice. And they... I feel like they can kind of feel... Well, they're afraid to come to you with this. Because we're seeing the Seven of Pentacles, which is hesitation. Um, the hangman is here. Ooh. So... Hang me in with the king of cups. So they might actually not do this for a while. Um, because whenever we see hang me in love readings, it's basically someone not doing anything. I feel like they're really thinking about their approach and what to say. Hmm. Interesting, Sag. Very interesting, but let's take a look at new love, okay? Because not everyone is dealing with somebody. So let's take, get a couple of cards for new love. People looking for new love. Sagittarius is looking for new love. on the bottom with the five of swords I feel like if you're looking for love you may be afraid to get hurt Sagittarius is looking for new love what about new love oh, Jesus. new love for Sag for Sag, Queen of Swords, New Love for Sag, oh, Page of Cups, mm. so you may be hearing from someone, but I don't know if you're going to be open to it, <laughs> the Queen of Swords can be tough, so someone here wants to talk to you, wants to make you an offer, probably some flirty messages, Oh, well, isn't this funny? But with the King of Wands and the Hangman here, I feel like this past person won't allow it. <laughs> because remember, we saw the Hangman there. It, that could also be you. It's like someone's coming in to talk, but and someone may be flirting with you, but I kind of feel like you're closed off to it um, because you're waiting for this person to make a move. Kind of pentacles. This could also be literally three different people, or at least two. The Page of Cups and the King of Wands. It could also be two people. Someone younger, someone probably older, fire sign. But I still feel like with this hangman energy. You're waiting for the past person to make a move. So you might be open to, you know, what, tell me what you got to say, what you got here, but not making a decision. Yeah, because you, you really want this. The Empress with the Ten of Pentacles. You want, you know, you want... Maybe you even want marriage. Maybe that's the mindset you're in. So you may not be up for, like, these flirty players. <laughs> yeah, because you are tied to this, to this other person that you walked away from. You are. The Knight of Swords with the Devil and the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, I just feel like... While some of you might be open to new love, there's someone here you're still attached to. 
and waiting for almost. Oh boy, Sag. Oh boy. Okay. Let's get some closing advice for you, Sagittarius. And it could also be that Knight of Swords is like when you're starting to put yourself out there and starting to talk to people a little bit, even though, honestly, is the Queen of Swords ever really impressed? You're not really impressed. And the Queen of Swords can also indicate an X, but you're not really impressed. You know, that's, that's always what I feel with the Queen of Swords. Like, she's compassionate, but she likes her freedom. So you might entertain it, but then all of a sudden with the Knight of Swords, that old person comes in. <laughs> With their wicked ways. <laughs> with their wicked, lusty ways. So let's get some advice for you, Sage. Advice for Sagittarius. Mm. Your new life's coming, Sag. You know, things are about to take off. Um, but you're going to need to be flexible. You know, it can't just be all your way, you know. So definitely a need for you to let go of control. And you may be moving to another community. But it, I feel like... Because regeneration is like tower energy, so it's kind of like a new beginning. So you may really be connecting with new people. Interesting, Sag. Very interesting. In terms of advice, I think it's calling for you to bend a little. <laughs> okay, Sag, that's what I got for you. I hope you have a great week.